My name is Sebastian Thrun, S-E-B-A-S-T-I-A-N-T-H-R-U-N. I'm a professor of computer science, and I'm the leader of the Seven Racing Team, which is still up in the running. And you're in, actually in the top three. Um, it's hard to say if you're top three or top five. At this point, there seems to be five bots still running, and we are one of them. We're really excited. Junior had to master a number of really difficult situations, traffic congestions, path other robots, and so on, and make safe turns. And so far, it's driving really, really safely, and actually quite aggressively in terms of timing. So we have a really good chance, I think, of finishing this race. I guess we never thought you wouldn't finish the race. The question is, is whether you're going to be first or not. Um, you know what? People argue who's first and who's second. In a, a Dapper Grand Challenge where you, when you're on your own in desert road, it makes sense because everybody has the same conditions. But when you drive in traffic, you could be lucky and have no congestions or unlucky and have lots of congestions. It is somewhat up randomly. I think the more important question is, will a bot come home? Will five bots come home? If a bot comes home, we're going to be happy, even if it's not our bot. That's so nice of you. Christian, you're, you're known um, in and around this crowd as someone who, uh, one of the professors who disseminates duties to all of your uh, your students. And people have said that that's what's made you successful, is that you actually uh, bring these students in and make them do things. See, see as, as a primary responsibility for me as a professor at Stanford University, is really to educate students. That's number one, it's education. So in these projects, we, we bring in lots of people, students and also other companies, uh, professionals from other companies. And we are a team. We are really a team. We go out together and drink beer together. We like each other. We hang out. We have our hard moments where we don't like each other because we are under stress, as we were in the last couple of days. But we all emerge as friends. That means so much to me. I'm not competitive enough to put competition above team spirit. I think by being a team, not just with our team, but with all the other robotics teams, we as a community build something up that can really change society. What have you, you won last DARPA challenge. What have you learned since the last DARPA challenge? Well, luckily I'm still the reigning champion of the DARPA challenges, and that might still be the case for the next 60 minutes when somebody else takes over. <laughs> what have you learned? The power of imagination. I think so many people are now aware of the potential for cars to be safer and at some point drive themselves, they weren't aware of it before. I think we really have begun to, to increase awareness for, for this kind of research and this kind of education to, to, to accelerate progress. I'd love it if this new urban challenge does even more of it, because the only way we can succeed is with commitment by people, by individuals, by society, by sponsors, to really take on this challenge and really carry it through. You know, it's interesting because different groups uh, focus on different parts, whether it's for the military or whether it's for safety or, or for, te for technology or for satellites and NASA. And as long as I've known you, you well, have been most interested the in the safety minutes. of people driving on the roads. There's a lot of discussion as to who the first customer is going to be, is going to be military or not. To me, a life saved is a life saved. And that's really important to remember. This, just like the internet that was created by DARPA, this new technology that DARPA is creating will benefit all of us and change all our lives. Be it a person in uniform who's fighting for us, or be it a civilian, uh, we will all benefit. The, the, the number of, of human losses right now uh, are enormous at both ends. Uh, in, in civilian traffic in the United States, it's about 42,000 people a year. This is, it's really tragic numbers. If we can cut this in half, we will really fundamentally change many, many people's lives. Sebastian, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you so much.